Hey guys, what's up? Wages World coming at you. I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of an update. We've had another M flare after the big X X class flare, and you know I showed you guys all these stuff for that last one uh, last night in the live stream. But I want to give you guys an update, and I'm gonna go further into the X class thing here in just a second, and give you guys a, a little bit of a rundown, a full update because I think you guys need it. So, um, and I'll be doing a live stream later on tonight too. So let's just get into it. Okay, guys, I got you over here at SDO. This is the X flare from uh, that I showed you guys yesterday. And I just wanted to touch on that because this is what's happening. We've had another flare since then, so I'm going to take you guys and show you that here in just a second. But that was a very substantial flare. And, you know, we've had three other ones, and I'll go more into that here in just a little while. Okay, guys, here are, here's got you over here at, S, uh, at Soho, and I'm going to show you all the flares again. Um, this is the first M flare, and as you can see, guys, it produced a CME. There's the second one. It produced another CME. Notice all these are halo CMEs, at least partial. So that means they're all coming at us. This is the X flare. <clears throat> guys, this is a, that's a big one, okay? And it's a full halo, even though it's going main, a lot of it's going out to that uh, direction, which would be the west when we're looking at the sun. So in total there, guys, look at what you got. You know, you got three M-class flares, an X-class, and all four are coming. So we're expected strong to severe storms, in my opinion. So I'm going to take you over to NOAA here in just a few minutes, and, and we'll get started on exactly what's going to happen and see what they're forecasting and see what I think. Um, you know, I'm going to more now cast than anything. You guys know that. So um, hopefully, guys, um, you know, we can stay out of a little bit of an issue. I don't think we're going to have, like, grid down or anything like that but i do think strong to severe storms are probably on the way and especially with other things happening so we're going to take more of a closer look at this and um hopefully i can give you guys a better idea of what's going on at least what i think and if things happen throughout the day today i'll give you guys short updates but i do plan on live streaming later on tonight with a full update so okay guys i got you over at noah space weather prediction center and as you can see, guys, you know, there's the R3 radio blackout. That is from the X flare yesterday. Um, again, that's already said and done. That's gone. Uh, but as you can see here, guys, M flare, M flare, X flare, M flare. All long duration. They weren't impulsive. They were shooting out lots of lots of stuff. X-rays, protons, plasma, you name it, it was happening. Um, and as you can tell there too, the radiation storm that I was talking about yesterday in my last live stream, it's starting to materialize. And um, this isn't anything to be concerned about because it's not getting into high levels. Um, but we are, we could, I think we're going to get into an S1. Um, I'm not really sure we're going to get quite to an S2. What's that mean to me and you? Not a whole lot, just to be honest. I'm not even going to waste time even talking about that because it's not really going to mean a whole lot. But it does mean that we're getting space weather. Um, as you can tell here, guys, we did get into geomagnetic storms uh, for about an hour. If we were to go to, over to the German site, I could show you that. But over here on the KP, where you got the four, um, these are three-hour data points, averages, on these bars. Um, the HP over on the German site is 30 minutes. So we did get it to, to a, a level of five, which would be a G1 storm for about an hour. Um, you're not going to see it there because the average didn't work out that way. And that's fine. I mean, it's not, it's, you know, geomagnetic one, a G, I mean, a G1 level storm isn't that big of a deal. Um, but it is something we need to pay attention to. Now, this is their forecasting. G1, 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 G1. I do not think it's going to happen like this. That's why I now cast, though, okay? Um, I think we're going to get G2, G3, even possibly G4, guys. Um, but if we look at uh, Noah's version of the end little spiral. This is their forecast model. As you can see, you know, this is the same exact thing I showed you yesterday. They haven't updated this for that X flare at all. It hasn't been updated yet, so I can't really give you updated information. But you can see that these these are not the first two end flares. Okay, this happened. The spe the first one especially did not happen until it happened before. Um, well, the first bigger end flare I showed you guys on the fourteenth is not being in consideration in this model. So whatever they're showing you here is something that is uh, is not what is going to happen exactly. 
Um, so this is going to change is my point. I probably shouldn't even have showed it to you, but you know, there it is. I want you guys to see it. They do change that very, very frequently and they should, you know, that the model stuff starts coming in with different data and their forecasting needs to change. They need to do that. But as you can see here, this is the x-ray background. This is the absorption and you're going to see it come in on the poles. This is the radiation storm part of what I've been talking about. And this does show you how it does come in on the poles first and easier. This is what we see with geomagnetic uh, activity and, and all the stuff that we talk about here. So yeah. All right guys, just because I showed you Noah's version of the endless spiral, I'm going to show you NASA's. This hasn't updated either for the X-Flare. Uh, none of the latest flares and CMEs produced by them um, are on here. This could be like it. This is that the first strong M-class flare that we've seen yesterday. Um, I showed you this in my live stream last night. This thing is not updated in that, that amount of time, which is not abnormal for when we get this kind of activity. They want to make sure that it's right, and they try to just, you know, pan over stuff and go over it over and over and over it again. And that's that's just, this is typical for what we see. So anyway, um, this would be giving us a glancing blow, and that would be from that first larger M-class flare. Uh, but we are getting other geomagnetic activity, and I'll, I'll take you guys over to Discover to show you that. All right, guys, I got you over here to Discover uh, Space Weather Data from NOAA. And what you're going to see is, uh, yeah, the BZ. That's the magnetic polarity I talk about all the time. Negative 6 is what we need to see. Guys, this thing started jumping around pretty pretty substantial, okay? Um, you know, we went from like a negative, I'm not even sure what that was. Negative 10 to 15, I guess. Let's just put the number on there. Um, I'm not really sure what that number is showing. That's that's 10 right there. And it, it jumped way up here to like positive 16. Okay, probably even higher. So it's jumping all around right now, which means that we are getting some sort of space weather. Okay, and it's confirmed as we go down here. Now the fine angle, it's jumping around a little bit. That's the polarity of the solar wind. All right. Um, it's not too crazy though. I've seen it so much crazier, but look at the density here. Okay. Look at it moving around. Now four is what we consider normal. Um, and that, you know, I showed you guys this there in the middle. Uh, what, that's kind of what we see when we see these like influx of protons from these larger flares. Uh, this is kind of what we see. And that's that signature It's kind of up and down, up and down, but it's still kind of tight. It's not like a straight line, but it's not like it's moving at all either. And this is density. So if we look at density here, what, what are we looking at there? We're looking at 34, probably 40 on the high end, I would say. And it's up and down too. So when that's up and down like that, we are definitely, something's going on. We're getting some space weather. Now they have, I just looked at this a few minutes ago and it's already changed a little bit. This is the speed, right? They changed their, their graph here to include all the way up to 600 kilometers per second. So that means things are moving faster. And if we look at up here on the higher end of the speed, um, we're probably we're looking at over 500. Now, 3 to 500 is considered normal. Um, but, you know, we've had geomagnetic storms well within normal speed range, depending on what else is going on. Um, the temperature here also is going on. Um, it's jumping around. So we are getting some sort of space weather. Okay, just to confirm what I was just saying, guys, I went over here to the magnetosphere movie tool. And the space weather comes from left to right, and we definitely are getting some space weather. Watch what happens. This is the velocity. See the stuff start coming in? It's going to start bouncing around quite a bit here on the end of it. And if I go over here to the density, let me just pause that one because it makes things run slower. But this is density, and um, actually I'm just going to forward that a little bit. And you're going to see things just moving. The darker colors are, are uh, higher dense. So inside our protection, our magnetosphere, you're going to have less dense particles most of the time. Unless we're getting really, really bla blasted really, really good with high-dense stuff that's getting through. I've, I've come over here and looked at this, and this has been blue completely. Now, if I come over here and we look at magnetic pressure, um, this is really where we can tell what it's actually affecting what's actually happening. Um, when you start seeing like the magnetic pressure here on this model increase like it is, that is not a normal thing to see there. Well, I don't want to say normal. <laughs> it, it, it's not unusual to see it, but it's not what we would consider ambient conditions, okay? Ambient conditions would be just a little bit of red around the planet and a little bit out by our bow shock. That's usually what this thing looks like. 
Um, but with that being increased like that, it's definitely, we're getting some space weather. As I got you over here at the geoelectric field, this is the one they use to try to help bridge the gap between space weather and um, earthquake forecasting. And geoelectric is very similar to geomagnetic. It's not the exact same thing, but they do tend to mirror each other. Um, and that's why these models are going to act up at the same time. And as you can tell, again, things come in easier on the poles. A geoelectric field, and it's showing you what's at the surface here, okay? Um, and you'll see that it's usually brighter around higher populated areas because this is trying to show you what's going on with unnatural electrical components. And I'm not going to get too much into detail with that, like transformers, wires, switches in your house, your car, any of that stuff. It's just not naturally there. Um, so th that's what this model is trying to represent. And it does a fairly good job. They've included uh, Canada now, which I think is awesome that they're all working together here. Um, cause it used to stop at the border. This used to be more of a one dimensional model too. And this is more three dimensional or 2d, I guess I should say. But as you're, as you're looking at this guys, yeah. So it's just another way to show you what's going on. Okay guys, just to sum it up. Hey, we've had four flares, X and three M class flares. We got some activity coming. I'm going to continue to try to now cast for you guys. If anything happens. I'll try to pop back on and give you guys a short update. That might be in the form of a short. It could be a short little video. Not sure. But as you can tell here, guys, we, we're going to be expecting some geomagnetic activity in the, this weekend starting starting now, actually. Um, our, I just showed you guys that in this video. So, anyway, guys, please come back later on tonight for my live stream. That's my plan. Anything happens between now and then, I'll be here to give you an update. God bless. Yahusha saves. And you can drink this Kool-Aid.